Could you introduce yourself for us, please? Hi, everybody. I'm Duncan Tappy. I'm a racing driver from the UK and currently racing a uh, McLaren MP4 12C in the British GT Championship. How did you get started in motorsport? I was actually a relatively late starter in racing. I didn't start karting until 11. So a little bit on the back foot there, but I, I, I learned quickly and did pretty well in karting. Um, many, many good results, but th there was a time when I, I had, to, had to move on really. And, and that's where I got into the world of, of racing cars. And my first proper season uh, racing racing single seaters was was a Formula Ford UK Championship. I actually won ten out of the twenty races that year, and then went on to win the very prestigious Formula Ford Festival. So to have my name up against the likes of Jensen Button, Mark Webber, and people like that was really what put my my name on the on the map. Really, tell us about your championship year. My next success after that was being uh, the British champion in the Formula, Formula Renault. Again, my name was up against the uh, names of Kimi Raikkonen and Lewis Hamilton. Uh, so it, that meant a lot to me and, and it's probably my biggest uh, success to date. And after that? Since then, from that kind of championship to move on into international single-seaters and, and things like that, are. Uh, are very expensive and I'm, I'm from a very normal background. My, my father is just a one-man band heating engineer. So to find that kind of money, you know, talking half, half a million to a million pounds a year to go and do World Series or, or, or GP2 is even more than that. So it was, it was always a struggle, but we kept going. I actually did half a season in World Series by Renault, uh, which was great. Um, but because of budgetary issues, we had to, had to stop a little bit early. So what did you do next? From that point there, I, I kind of raced anything I, I could really. I had a brief encounter um, in an LMP1 car, which was great. I did uh, a couple of Carrera Cup races, but then I spent three years in Super League Formula, where that was a, a really, really high, high level championship with lots of well-known names in it, ex-Formula 1 guys, ex-Champ car, things like that. And I, I did a pretty good job up against them. So I guess people noticed that a little bit. So then you switched to GT racing? My move into, into GT racing came last year in 2012 when I, I had an offer to race with ART Grand Prix. They were starting to race in GTs themselves with the McLaren MP4 12C. So it seemed a good, a good time to, to switch from single-seaters and, and really make a name for myself in the GT world. And you know, we, we finished the season with a win at Navarra in the, in the Blanc Pan Endurance Series. And that's kind of set me up for this year, really. So what are you doing this season? As I've already mentioned, this year I'm racing in the British GT Championship with Von Ryan Racing in the McLaren again. So uh, I know the car. It's been pretty successful so far. We missed the first round. We, it was a, a fairly late deal. But uh, considering that, we've, we've had some, some great results. We've, we had a third at Snetterton, and at the last round at Brands Hatch, we had a second. And it's, it's been hard because we, we have started a little bit on the back foot because of missing that first round. But um, my teammate and I, uh, my, my teammate is Gregoire de Mustier, he's my same teammate in the Blanc Pan Endurance Series last year. So we know each other, but we've been able to make some real headway very quickly. And um, the only issue is we are carrying the 75 kilo of ballast because of that driver pairing. So it's a little bit tough at times, but we're, uh, we're working very, very well together. The Von Ryan team are really, really pushing hard. They, you know, they want the success just as much as us drivers do. So. It will be interesting to see how the rest of the season goes and uh, I really can't wait to, to see how that ends up. How did it feel to earn your 47th podium? As good as the first? Brands Hatch was my 47th podium in, in car racing, so it's something I'm pretty, pretty proud of. And to have that on the podium at Brands Hatch, where I've had so much success in the past with the Formula Ford Festival and and winning Renault races and, and Super League races and things like that, 
it, it it meant it means a lot, and every podium means means as as much as one another. Um, I think the the podiums in British GT this year have have, have meant almost almost probably more than than, than others um, because we are as I, as I've mentioned we're we're carrying that seventy five kilos so. For for myself, when I'm up against the other pros in my stints in in the races, to to hold my position against the other pros is 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 something I I can really be proud of. Talking about handicaps, didn't you just beat Damon Hill on the golf course? Yes, yes, that is true. I I did beat Damon Hill at golf not so long ago. Um, I'm a massively keen golfer. I think uh, quite a few racing drivers are. It's a uh, it's a nice getaway, relax, um, maybe not so relaxing sometimes. It can be a very, very frustrating sport, but it's a, it's a great place to go to have a, have a catch up with friends. And, and when someone like Damon Hill asks you whether you want to go for a round of golf, um, you know, personally, he was a childhood hero of mine. So to now be going, going to play golf with him and just chatting to him, just, just as a mate, really, is is pretty, pretty cool. So, it's it's always good to to get away and and chill out with golf, and hopefully, I'll get a few more chances to to beat him again soon. That's all. Thank you, and good luck. Thank you very much, and uh, I hope to see you all again soon. Cheers. Bye.